So I know there are plenty of people who have figured out how to use recons to help them win matches. But you may be trying out recons and it's not working out as well as you expected. So in this video, I'm going to show you the top seven tips on how me and my trio have won 70% of our games when using this strategy. You when you make it out alive, if you would take the trial. Every time you go and not, you're always going wild. So tip number one is to use two helicopters, and that's for plenty of different reasons. Number one, it's a lot faster. Have one on the flag, dropping someone off, capping, and having the other go and pick up flags. It also allows you to get a new one. If your first one is to get blown up, you can pick someone up while your third player is capping. You can bring them to a new chopper. And you don't miss a beat then. If you only have one, if that gets destroyed by a C4 or an RPG, you're kind of screwed because it messes up your rhythm for the rest of the match when it comes to capping flags. Another benefit of that is that your whole team doesn't get blown up if you get RPG'd or C4'd. You might have one or two players go down, but then you just gotta win your gulag, and then you're right back in it, get another, another chopper, and pick right back up where you left off. Another quick tip that kinda goes along with the first one is turn your auto redeploy off. If you are trying to go after the first chopper that is on the flight path, you're probably going to have some competition trying to get it. If you have auto deploy on, you're pulling your chute way too soon, and that is why you keep getting chopped up in the propellers. Turn auto deploy off, get used to opening up your chute very close to the ground, yeah, and you will mad. see that change. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have automatic redeploy on. Idiot. Tip number two is plan it out correctly. You only have about 10 to 20 seconds to actually plan out your route, what flags you're gonna go after, what flags you're gonna ignore. So what you're usually looking for is a nice grouped up bunch of flags that are close enough together that you can grab a new contract by the time you are done capping the old one. You also do not want it to be too close to the start of the flight path because then it'll just be a little bit too busy. And with this strategy, you're really trying to avoid fights. Tip number three is don't be afraid to separate. You probably have already figured this out because I told you to grab two choppers. Generally, you always want two people capping the flag and you want one person grabbing. It is way faster to capture flags when you're separated. And also with this strategy, like I've said before, you are trying to avoid fights. You're not picking every fight that you see so if you're trying to avoid fights it's a lot easier to avoid it when there's just one of you also if you get three on one and you die it's not the end of the world because you're doing so many contracts your teammates got plenty of money to buy you back and if all three of you were to die to the same team because you're doing contracts you're not going to have great weapons you're not going to have your loadouts early it doesn't make sense to risk all three of your lives when one person could die he could get brought back and you guys could get right back into it Tip number four is don't go after the free loadout. Generally, if you know, if nobody has died and this goes smooth as butter, by the time you get all six or seven flags that you want to have final zone, you will have enough money for a loadout, a munitions box, your self revives, your gas mask, and usually one or two score streaks each. It's generally known that it's a higher risk to go after free loadout than one that you've purchased. There could be other people going for their loadouts right next to it. There could be campers who have already gotten their loadout and are waiting for you. So you don't want to go to such an obvious location. So tip number five is to keep the looting to an absolute minimum. Not only do you not go out of your way to find chests and to find cash, but do not loot even if you hear chests. When you go into building to either cap a flag or to start a new contract and you hear a chest, do not go around looking for it because it may be 10... 15 seconds, 30 seconds that it takes, but that time absolutely adds up. You wanna be quick in and out of buildings, you wanna get your contract, you wanna start it, you wanna cap your flag as quickly as possible, and then get on your way. And this may sound like it's not that big of a tip, but I am telling you, it is absolutely necessary if you wanna be successful in this strategy. That time adds up so much. Those 20, 30 seconds that you're going around looking through buildings, trying to find a gun, as soon as you get one gun that you can defend yourself with, stop looting. You don't need cash. You don't need weapons because everything that you need, you will find 
at your loadout when you make your last buy station stop. And that brings me to tip number six. Tip number six is you should only be stopping at one buy station, ideally throughout the match. Of course, if teammates have been dying, we have to bring them back. That's a different story. But if it all goes smoothly, if one or two people die and they both win their gulag, or if no one dies at all and you're able to get your flags just like you were planning to, you go to a nice, easy buy station. I would recommend one of these two if they're in the circle. They're usually the least populated buy stations in the entire game. But that is up to your judgment based on rotations and circles of that particular match. Now, the point at when you stop at your buy station is usually once you have done all your flags, once you're done capping flags. You're stopping at your buy station to get your self res, your gas mask, everything that I mentioned before. And the reason that you do it last is because if you do it too early, because you're separated with this strategy, if one of you dies, then you've wasted a loadout and then you have to buy another one for that person to get. It makes sense for all three of you to get your loadouts at the same time. The seventh and final tip is patience. And this is by far the most important one. Whether you have final zone or whether you have final zone and the moving zone, it does not matter. It doesn't matter if you have all your loadouts, all your score streaks, your self revive, your gas mask, none of it will matter. All the work that you did in that match leading up to that point will not matter if you do not have the patience and the discipline to not pick fights with everyone you see. If you are especially in a bush, in a fern, or you're out in the open camping and hoping not to be seen, you need to trust your hiding spot. You need to trust your positioning, know that you chose it well, and then do not pick fights. And I am talking about in, if you're in a trio and one of your teammates gets down and finished, you do not get up from that spot. You can still win it with two players, okay? I've won it with by myself in solos many times. You need to trust your spot, trust your patience. Do not give up your positioning unless absolutely necessary. Just trust that people will not see you. And if you don't trust me, just check out these clips because I have plenty. And I wish that I had saved more. Honestly, I probably have 50-something clips where at least where I completely thought that I was going to get seen. Completely. But they just do not see you. You'll get seen probably once out of every 100 times that you see this. If you're hiding in bushes properly, if you have the correct camos on your guns, if you have the correct skins on, just use what I use and you will be fine. If you are new to the channel, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you watching throughout the entire video. For those of you that are new, I will start coming out with videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel, and I live stream every night at 11 p.m. Eastern. So I look forward to seeing you guys there, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Please don't be I'll late. Fuck it again, it's a remake. Say a little bit in a sugar bake. Hey, that is why I stay yeah, in a bay. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Look at the big way. I've been doing this forever. Damn it, it's all forever. Hey, you my girl. Bitch, I'll give you the world. Yeah, I've been here to die. Making it since I was five. Down one, gotta get right there, last one. Wanna go to the club, but another bitch better not fall in love. I just fought for the lies, I ain't got no choice. Put that up in the nice. bag.
Dizzle's got one right to his left. We have all three. We have all three. One's up blue marker sniping. That's the single. Down, the one I can left handle this one, then. Gas is closing in. Relocating okay, the I'll take out this one. Dead. Yeah, you gotta handle that one to your left. Dead. Now. Turn, turn. Yes, yes, I got him. Ready? Three, uh -huh. two, Only five left. one. Now. Oh, 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 oh,